Welcome back, everybody, to the 40th episode of Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness on the PS4. So in this episode, we're going to start off by running up to our room to take a rest. I thought about doing this off screen, but the thing is that this game is so wild that something could happen. And we don't want that without you guys being able to see it. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to run to the... Well, what the hell? The sick bay, maybe? I need to buy some new stuff because we're out. Not here. That's what I thought. Hmm. Not the bridge. Not the engine room. Transport room. We are out of fresh sage. And we have some dead people in our party. Which is no bueno. Sorry. Medic! I mean considering I have five hundred thousand, I think I can I think I can afford a few. Go ahead and replenish it while we're here. Very well. Check out and see if we have any new weapons for upgrade. Cloak of Stars. We shall do it. We have more than enough money for each one of our heroes here. Get an upgrade. Would you look at that? Even more of an upgrade. I wish I would have paid attention to that before. That's okay, though. Cloak of the Stars. see anything else that would be an upgrade perhaps some of these crests here would be but we're not gonna worry about that right now excellent let's go ahead and revive our friends just her skills all right let's go take a rest here didn't take too long. Just a couple minutes. Everybody's just gonna take a nap in the same bed, apparently. All right. Alright, why did they leave?
All right, I'm in the transport room. What do you want? Ah, okay. Yeah, look at that. That'll look cool. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. What, at this hour? what about you, Fidel? I just couldn't get to sleep. <sighs> Me neither. You know what? We've come so far on this journey. Yeah. Beyond the sky is pretty far, to say the least. It's not just the physical distance. We've experienced so many things that no normal Rasulians have. Things we didn't even know were possible. And we've learned even more. That's true. I swear, those days we spent hanging out with Ted and Stahl, they seemed like they ended many eons ago. <laughs> From here, they do seem distant. Recently, Fidel, I feel like you've been distant too. I don't think I have. Yes, you have. Some of it's out of your control, like what's happened with the war and with Faria. But you've set your sights on somewhere far away. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. That makes me sound like the villain here. Then what do I do? Stay by my side. For all eternity. I'll never ever forgive you if you try to leave me behind. All right. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best to save Faria, so you won't mind if I say at least one selfish thing, will you? Please, Fidel, stay by me. think that's selfish. I think everybody knew that she was definitely in love with him the whole time. So I don't feel like that's selfish at all. That's not enough. Your pathetic policies cannot save Kronos. Why can't you see that you're dooming our people to be Federation slaves? Starting a civil war serves only to deplete our national resources. Have you no backbone? A craven fool like you has no right to rule us. There's nothing more here to discuss. All that's left is for us to crush the Federation and Kronos' lapdog government. I'm sorry I couldn't do better, Captain Kenny. If we haven't convinced him by now, I doubt we ever will, Mr. President. The only option we have left is to engage them. Indeed. I knew it would come to this. In that case, sir, could you please order your ship to retreat to a safe distance? I'm confident we can handle the fighting ourselves. Thank you. And best of luck. Captain, three of the enemy ships look to be going on the offensive. Got it. All right, people. Time to get this operation underway. In the name of galactic peace, we are going to head into battle against the rebel Kronos forces led by General Alma. Fidel? Your group will do what it needs to help the sisters. Understood. Okay, now open an audio link between our ships and the Kronos governmental forces. Audio link is now established. This is Emerson T. Kenny, captain of the Pan-Galactic Federation ship Charles D. Gold. My vessel will serve as the Kronos governmental forces flagship, as directed by the Federation's central command and Kronos's president, Mutal. It's up to every last one of us to ensure Kronos remains at peace rather than plunges into chaos. So let's go out there and give them hell. Kenny, over and out. Time to get this operation underway. Set a course. 90 Mark 135. What's the damage for both sides? Our shields deflected the entirety of their attack. No damage to report. One governmental warship has been destroyed. Another has taken heavy damage. Two more, enough to render them inoperable. 
Only one rebel ship has sustained heavy damage. Should we pull back and rethink our strategy? As a soldier, you should know that giving the enemy more time here would be fatal. We can't withdraw now. Maybe so, but continuing to fight would only increase our losses. Excuse me, Captain. If I may. I know that, but it doesn't matter. We'll have to go right for General Alma then. Faria is the only thing fueling their resistance. Therefore, if we defeat Alma and get her back, they'll lose their reason to fight. That's easier said than done. Alma's most likely barking orders from the safety of their base, situated on that large asteroid. The shield around it will make an approach impossible. Actually, it just might be feasible. While we were traveling to this sector, I was able to analyze a portion of the data on space-time symbology we accumulated. I theorize that if Relia were to use her power, we could manipulate space-time in such a way that it neutralizes their shield. With practice, it could likely even disable the whole thing. Her current skills, however, should suffice. We can likely still negate a large enough portion of the shield to pass through. In short, going after Alma directly is well within the realm of possibility. But... I don't know if I can control my powers well enough. I'll offer what support I can by analyzing her psi waves. Come on, Relia. Let's go save Faria together. I can save my sister. I'll try hard to get it right. Emerson, please get us ready to infiltrate their base. Can do. Let's go. I like how the characters just instantly like give up. Like Emerson's just like, all right. Delacroix, prepare That's to cool. transport us to the coordinates we got from President Mutal. Sir, you have a fleet to command. You can't just go running. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, Delacroix. The General Alma calls. Don't worry. You'll do a great job in my stead, First Officer. <laughs> That's funny. Deuces. Deck two. Transporter. Just think. If you could succeed at manipulating space-time, completely nullify shields, you'd be invincible. I assume that is exactly why Kronos was researching the ultimate script in the first place. For them to engrave something so terrifying on a small girl. The technology probably won't work unless they use a living being. Thank God it was Fidel. What about him? It's good that he was the one really opened up to out of everyone. <sighs> Agreed. We shall do a quick save here. Remember from several episodes ago, I didn't save and we teleported onto an enemy ship and I died instantly. It was awesome. And by awesome, I mean it sucked. To start, we'll neutralize the shields. I'm ready when you are. Go. Think it'll work? Not right now. Something seems to be disrupting Relia's field. My sister, she. It would appear that Faria is currently emitting a field of her own. What if we use a shuttle to get closer while Relia has her force field up? Do you think that would help her neutralize Faria's field? According to the scanner, the field's effects deteriorate quadratically with distance. Thus, the closer Relia is to her target, the more likely she can cancel it out. Still, though, exposing a weaponless shuttle to the enemy's phase cannons is too dangerous. It may be dangerous, but there's no other way. I know I can do it. I'm okay. It looks like the bravest member of our team is also the smallest. Indeed. The shuttle's in the cargo bay. Let's hurry. 
Kenny, to the bridge. The bridge here? Need a favor. As long as it isn't anything absurd. We're gonna use a shuttle and fly right into the enemy's home base. Absolutely out of the question. It's too dangerous. Too bad for you, but we're gonna do it. I request that next time you take me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, uh, by the way, we're just gonna go ahead and do this, alright? I'll be in charge of the hell. Bridge to the captain. What? I've uploaded a projected route to your shuttle. Please take a look at it. How thoughtful. You prepared to start, Rinya? You'll have to keep your signaturgy activated the whole time, but can you do that? I can. Good girl. You're not alone. We'll get through this together. Yep. I'll open the doors for you. Thanks. We're ready for takeoff. Our field's about to come in contact with Farias. First, concentrate solely on this one finger. Okay. Now, sync your breathing with mine. This is amazing! Uh-oh. What's wrong? There's a hole in the shade of the furthest rock back on the right. He's right. By all accounts, the thing looks to be a man-made structure. You have a good pair of eyes on you, Victor. The King's Chosen often operate at night. Is this a setup? Let's take the plunge. I expected the whole breaking through the field thing to be more dramatic. But hey, fuck it. We did it. You the best little girl, go. I must give you credit. It takes talent to break through that space-time symbol barrier we erected. I'm glad I decided to welcome you with open doors. It was worth the wait. Your generosity is truly boundless. And now give back Faria! <laughs> ah, so the whelp decided to show up after all. How interesting that he didn't turn tail and run! Now we'll see who the true master of space-time symbology is! Fine with me. My cause is just and my victory's assured. History's proof of that. Enjoy your downfall! Let's go. Fairy is waiting. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Goodbye, money. I need to look to see if the one I picked up is actually better than that. Still have money left over. Son of a bitch, I just bought upgrades for <laughs> Should have known better. Definitely for the two healers. That's good enough for right now. Alright, um... I'm gonna go into equipment. This... 250. I think that's the one that they just tried to sell me. 
Is that dude just dancing? He's just dancing. Yep, it was. For sure. Alright, good deal. Might as well go ahead and just buy the one. Chamomile. No. Chamomile. Bleh. Look at this. Shit is pathetic. So, while I'm selling all this stuff, we're actually out of time. And I think this is probably a good spot to stop because we're going to be moving on, you know, trying to figure out where the hell our, our arch nemesis is at now. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Check out the channel. We have lots of videos up. Stay tuned for the next episode because I think we're getting maybe towards the end of this game. Maybe. Maybe. Usually whenever they say you can travel and then you can't go back. That's a pretty good indicator that you're at the end of the game. So... Definitely check out the next episode, and until next time, squad, later.